23. Public health service standards for drinking water set a max of 250 milligrams per liter, which is 2.6 times 10 to the negative third molarity, of the sulfate ion, which is SO4 2 minus. Because of its cathartic action, it's a laxative. Yum. <laughs> Does natural water that is saturated with calcium sulfate, CaSO4, which is called gyp water, as a result of passing through soil containing gypsum, which is the CaSO4 to H2O. Uh, does this meet these standards? And then what is the concentration of the SO4 2 minus in such water? Okie dokie. So basically, we just have to find out what is the molarity of that sulfate in the water, in that gyp water? And will it cause people to have explosive diarrhea? Sorry uh, for that little, little thing, but that's, uh, that's basically what's happening here, right? So the max concentration that you can have in your water for sulfate is 2.6 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Anything below this number, you're not going to go to the bathroom. But anything above this number... Yeah, you're going to be in the bathroom. But anyway, basically, we just have to find out that number. So I went to the back of the textbook to find out what the solubility product, the KSP, is of the uh, the gyp water, which is the calcium sulfate uh, di h 2 l right, dihydrate. So this is now going to be acting as a solid, right? And it's this solid, the calcium sulfate, that is going to dissolve into its two ions. So we first have to write out the balance equation. So Ca, SO4, that's the solid. Keep in mind that we don't care about the water because that's a liquid, right? H2O is the liquid. And in a KSP, no liquids allowed. So we don't even care about this. So CaSO4, which is a solid, it will break down dissociate, double arrow, into its two ions. The break is between the calcium and the sulfate, right? So Ca plus SO4, we need those ions, right? What are the charges in the upper right-hand corner? Calcium is in group two, so that's a two plus charge, and sulfate is always a two minus charge. Since we have those charges, these are going to be aqueous. They will dissolve in the water. And now I'm just looking at it. It looks pretty balanced to me. So we're good with this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this to get our KSP equation. And I wrote down what the general KSP equation is over here. KSP is just equal to the products raised to the coefficients. So in our case, KSP would equal the concentration of the calcium, 2 plus, times the concentration of the sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. And remember, always raise it to their coefficients, but for the uh, balanced equation, there's just one calcium and one sulfate. So I can put both of them raised to the first, but anything raised to the first is the same thing. Okay, so we know that the KSP from the back of the textbook is 6.1 times 10 to the negative fifth, but I don't know what the concentrations of calcium and sulfate is. So that's when we're going to make up variables. We like to use X, right? So I say, I don't know what the, the concentration of calcium is. I'm going to label it as X. And the number that's the coefficient has to follow. So this would technically be 1 times X, but 1 times X is just X. So we just say X. Same thing here. We label it as X. 1X, but that's the same thing. And these are now your new variables. So we're going to plug in the, the X value for the calcium and the X value for the sulfate. So now we have 6.1 times 10 to the negative fifth equals basically X times X, right? But X times X is just X squared. So all we would have to do, if I just get rid of this, pull this a little bit closer, all we would have to do is just take the square root on both sides. And we get x equals. So let's see, calcies out. Square root, 6.1 times 10 to the negative fifth. Uh, I'll put it in scientific notation, 
8, 1 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Now, we need to compare just the sulfate ion. So the only thing that I care about is the sulfate. So the sulfate ion concentration, the SO4 2 minus, was just X. And that's what X was. So this would be 7.81 times 10 to the negative third molarity. So that answers the second question. What is that concentration? It's 7.81 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Now for the real question that we've been dying to answer, is this going to make you go to the bathroom or not? Well, here is the number right here, 2.60 times 10 to the negative third. This value, is that higher or lower than 2.6 times 10 to the negative third? Yeah, this is, <laughs> of course, of course they had to do this. Uh, this is higher than 2.60 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And keep in mind that that is the standard. That's the max number, the maximum that should be in that water. So it says, does the natural water that's saturated with the calcium sulfate meet these standards? So the, the answer is no. It does not meet these standards. It's way too high and cesspools are going to be filling up. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Thank you so much. I really hope uh, this, this video helped you out. Uh, let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for that. Let's keep having fun and I will see you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.